Hi, this is Yuhan. And this is Maya. Today we're going to show you a two-minute introduction to Glider. So once you've opened up Glider, the first thing you would probably want to do is pick your plugin. By default, this is Chrome SDK, but you can choose whichever you like. You can do this by going to Tools, Options, Glider Options, Plugins, and right-click on your plugin and, and click Set as Default. Next, let's open a sample Corona SDK project. You can do this by dragging and dropping a project folder into the editor pane. A project is simply any folder with a main.lua file. To view and edit files, just double-click in the projects pane. Invoking autocomplete is easy. Simply put your cursor somewhere and press Control space. Glider takes things like scope, prefixes, and even parameter types to give you the most relevant results. And also setting breakpoints is easy. Just simply click on the line to the left of the editor. And also starting the debugger is even easier. Just click the icon in the toolbar. Once you're at a breakpoint, you can do things like view variables, set watches, view the call stack, and also use the step functions. Glider 2.0 features an integrated profiler. Starting it is just as easy as the debugger. From the profiler tab, you can view things like performance, hit counts, call graphs, and a memory timeline. And that's it. Please see our other tutorial series for more detailed explanations. Please email us if you have any questions at mydevelopergames at gmail.com. Thank you. Goodbye.